Hi guys, it's Morgan, and today I'm going to be talking about Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, I've done reviews on Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and if you haven't seen those videos yet, I'll put annotations in this video so you can go watch them if you want to. If you haven't seen Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and you don't want to be spoiled, stop watching the video, go watch Season 4, and then come back. If you haven't seen Season 1, Season 2, or Season 3 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, watch those too. If you don't care about being spoiled, keep watching. So first I'll be talking about some new characters in Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Tara McClay, played by Amber Benson. Now Willow meets Tara at a Wiccan meeting, where they're the only two real witches there, and they become friends. And then, after a while, they become more than friends. And they're one of my favorite TV couples. Riley Finn, played by Mark Blucas. Now, Buffy meets Riley at college, and after a while, they start dating. Riley is also a member of the Initiative, and the Initiative is the antagonist of the season. But luckily, after a while, Riley leaves it. Maggie Walsh, played by Lindsay Kress. Now, Maggie Walsh is a professor at the University of California, Sunnydale, and she's also the leader of the Initiative, and the villain of the season. Adam, played by George Hetzberg. Now, Adam was created by Maggie Walsh and is made out of human, demons, vampires, and technology. He ends up killing Maggie Walsh, but luckily, Buffy, Xander, Willow, and Giles are able to defeat him. I thought it was really funny in the beginning of the first episode of the season when Buffy and Willow were waiting for a vampire to come out of his grave and they're just sitting in the graveyard and the vampire comes out of his grave and they don't know because their backs are to it and the vampire creeps up on them but then sees Buffy's slayer gear and then leaves and they never know he was there. It was really cute when Buffy and Willow met Riley for the first time because you could tell that Buffy was attracted to him based on what she was saying. It's funny how peppy Buffy's roommate Kathy was, especially since you find out later that she's actually a demon. Never really heard of a peppy demon. I thought it was funny when Anya showed up and she wanted to talk to Xander, so she told Giles to leave, but he wouldn't, so she took Xander outside to talk to him. To be fair, they were in Giles' house. You can't really tell someone to leave when you're in their own house. I thought it was funny when Buffy and Parker ran into Spike and Harmony at the party they were at, and Spike was about to tell Buffy how he met Harmony, but then he ran away. I really liked when Anya realized that Xander and the others were in trouble in the haunted house, so she went to Giles for help. It shows how much she really cares about Xander. I thought it was funny after Buffy saved Parker from the fire and he apologized for what he did to her, but she just knocked him out. I felt really sorry for Willow when she saw Oz and Veruca together. You could really tell how much that hurt her. It was a sad scene when Oz said goodbye to Willow, because he knew that until he could control his werewolf instincts, it's not safe for him to be around anyone. Xander and Harmony fighting was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Harmony could have bitten him, Xander could have staked her, but they were just slapping each other. I thought the conversation that Spike and Willow had after Spike was having a hard time biting Willow was really funny. I felt sorry for Angel when he told Giles that he couldn't let Buffy know that he was there because it would distract her, but you could tell that even just watching Buffy was hard for Angel. I thought that everything Spike said while he was tied to the chair was really funny. Because of Willow's magic, Spike proposes to Buffy and she accepts, and those scenes were really, really funny. Because while I was watching them I was like, when this spell is broken you guys are going to be very creeped out. And they were. I was really impressed with the episode Hush. It must have been a lot of work for the cast to do an entire episode with no dialogue, except in the beginning and the end. Since no one could talk, I really liked the scene when Giles was telling Buffy, Willow, Xander, and Anya about the gentleman through PowerPoint, and it was also pretty funny. I really liked the scene when Willow was trying to use her magic to block the door with the drink machine so the gentleman couldn't get through, but she couldn't do it. But then Tara held her hand, and they were able to do it together. Show us how powerful they are together. I felt bad for Spike when Willow and Xander found him trying to stake himself, but I was also happy for him when he realized that the chip that was implanted in his head doesn't hurt him when he fights demons, and only hurts him when he fights humans. 
I loved it when Buffy appeared on the camera after Maggie Walsh told Riley that Buffy had died, and Buffy said to Maggie that if she thought that what Maggie did was enough to kill her, then she really doesn't know what a slayer is. But she's going to find out. I felt really sorry for Riley when he told Buffy that he doesn't know what team he's on, and he thinks that he might be the bad guy, but Buffy told him not to think that. Even though she's done some evil things, I felt sorry for Faith when she realized how much time passed while she was in her coma, and that the mayor was dead. I mean, he was like a father figure to her. When Buffy and Faith switched bodies, I thought that Sarah Michelle Gellar did a great job playing Faith, and that Eliza Dishku did a great job playing Buffy. I felt sorry for Tara when she told Willow that she knows all about Willow's friends, but they didn't know about her. And I thought it was cute when Willow said that she likes having something that's just hers, and Tara told Willow that she is hers. I could understand Giles' reaction when he saw who he thought was Faith, but was really Buffy in Faith's body. But I was glad that he was able to figure out it really was Buffy, because she was saying things that only Buffy would have known. I thought the reactions of Willow, Tara, Xander, and Anya when they were watching Giles sing and play guitar were really funny. I was proud of Riley when he helped everyone save Oz from the initiative, and I was also happy that he finally left the initiative. I thought it was cute when Willow went to Tara's room and Tara told her that she understands that Willow has to be with the person she loves because Oz had come back, but Willow tells her that she is with the person she loves, meaning Tara. You could definitely tell that when Riley met Angel, he was really jealous, because he knows that Buffy and Angel used to be together. I loved it when Buffy told the Colonel that she was the only one who was going to be able to defeat Adam, and with help from her friends, she did. Because of the spell they used to defeat Adam, Buffy, Willow, Xander, and Giles are visited by the first Slayer in their dreams. Now in Willow, Xander, and Giles' dream, the first Slayer kills them. But in Buffy's dream, the first Slayer tells her that she can't have any friends because she has to fight alone. But Buffy ignores the first Slayer and ends up saving her friends. But she is thinking about what the first Slayer said, which was she doesn't know what's to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Now, if you've seen Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. And if you haven't seen Season 4 and you just watched this video, let me know what you thought about the video. Bye.